Right, I'm out of here. So I've got the antenna dish, but I'm not sure if there's any more super mutants left. So that's why I'm just gonna check around, make sure the place is empty. It already seems quiet though, so I don't think there'll be any more left. Right, I haven't been down this way, but I think it just takes you like around the same place. Yeah, it's, it just seems like completely quiet. Yeah, so the place must be empty, so I'm going to leave now and head back to Rivet City. Well, before I, before I do that, I want to install the antenna dish to the monument, which is, well, it's not too far away. So once that's installed, then I'll head back to Rivet City, probably do a bit more trading. And then probably speak to Free Dog for like more work. Yeah, so the super mutants may spawn back in probably a fortnight or something. That'll be like in game time, not real life. So if it's like if it's about the seventh of September now then should spawn back around the 20th or like the 21st of September approximately right it wasn't sure if it was like dawn or if it was evening Yeah, I'm surprised the monument is still like standing after all the explosions that happened around it. They must have built it pretty well. Right, I think this is how you get it open. Oh yeah, so it's been guarded by the Brotherhood of Steel. So if there's any danger then they'll just like pretty much defend me while I'm in here. But it's very unlikely there'll be any danger since I've killed like the super mutants in the trenches. Right, this is this is actually a long way up. Longer than I expected. Yeah, looks like it's installed now. Right, so I'm going to head back down. Yeah, I'll, I'll speak to Free Dog before I get the Rivet City. Right, I'm surprised this elevator's like still working after all the explosions and debris, unless the Brotherhood of Steel like repaired it. If they got like some skilled engineers to get it working again.
Right here I am at the Galaxy News Radio Station. Right, you should probably be upstairs again, because that's where I last saw him. I think he's always up there, in fact. Well, I've only spoke to him like once or twice on here, so I'm pretty sure he sh should still be up here. Just see if there's any like hidden supplies around. Ah, oh, there he is. Hey, all right! The hero of the wasteland returns. Hey, you're the one that deserves all the thanks. You struck a major blow against tyranny. Now, GNR can be heard clear across the capital wasteland again. That'll give Eden and those muties something to think about. But before I get back to my calling, I bet you want to hear about your dad. Whoa now, dry your eyes. A promise is a promise, and I will provide. When your dad passed through here, he and I talked for a good long time. He was a real stand-up kind of guy. He mentioned some scientific mumbo-jumbo which didn't make sense to me, and mentioned something called Project Purity. He also said something about going to visit a Dr. Lee in Rivet City, then he left in a hurry. Goodbye. Remember to keep us tuned in while you're out there. And watch yourself. Right, so apparently he's at Rivet City, but the thing is that's where I'm headed anyway. Yeah, so... Oh yeah, just I, I remember... I think that's when I first heard of Rivet City, when he like kind of told me where James's location was. But I hadn't played Fallout 3 in quite a while, so I couldn't quite remember. Which I don't think I've ever discovered it, like, before, uh, before I helped Free Dog. Oh, it looks like there's a ghoul down there. That's strange, the other two are dead. Alright, so James was going to see a uh, Dr. Lee. So, a doctor, so probably around the science labs, that might be where they are. Right, so I'll just buy and sell a few things and then I'll get on with the story and find out if James is here or if he's went somewhere else. Decided to check out the sh Alright, I think he's restocked now, so... Yeah, he's got like some new supplies in. Thanks. 